What's up YouTube, Dan6 here with more Pokemon Nuzlocke. So last episode we beat the gym leader, and this episode we will be advancing on with the story to a new town, hopefully. But first, someone's told me that there's an experience share in this town, and I want it. So I'm going to go heal up. Oh. Cross transceiver is ringing. Maybe I'm not gonna cut away just yet. Dad picked up the cross transceiver. Hey there, where are you now? Could you do me a favor? Let's have a Pokemon battle. Iris has trained me and I've become a little stronger. I should be able to protect my own Pokemon now. Let's meet at the gate at Route 4. Okay, see you later. Alright, well she's gonna want a battle. But yeah, first I'm gonna heal up and then I'm gonna look for the guy who gives us the experience share. So once I've found him, we'll be back. I know roughly where he is, but... Oh, the... He's in the battle company, actually, I've been told. So we might actually go through there and do some battles. So here we are inside the battle company. And this guy wants to talk to us. People who work in this building have Pokemon battles, not opinion battles. You appear to be strong, but if you go upstairs, please be extra careful. Okay. Slightly wrong animation there. So this should be good. We might get some experience and um, hopefully some good items. So I'm just going to see who I've got. Oops. Who I've got in my team. In what order. Reaper's out first, then Charles, then Dark. Perfect. Welcome to the battle company. Since you are here, battle with me. I won't take no for an answer. So this should be pretty cool. Um, hoping that they're not going to be like super high level. She sends out a Mantini. That's cool. Uh, Reaper. Reaper should be alright against it, I would assume. I'll go with the Reflect type first, because any water attacks are probably going to hurt a lot. So he goes for a Supersonic. Just confuse me like a bastard. Reaper became confused. Let's go for an absorb. Nope, hits himself in the face like an idiot. Headbot's not gonna do anything. And now Mantidi gets money. Mummy, even. I, I keep reading it as mummy, uh, money, like Kingdom Hearts, but I haven't even really played a lot of that game. Wow, Absorb doesn't really do anything. Oh, of course, he's part flying. Ah, that's a bit of a pain in the ass. Um. So Psy Strike isn't going to do anything, Absorb isn't going to do anything. Alright. I keep forgetting that Mantini's a flying as well as water type. Let's use Ducks. He hasn't seen a lot of action, he's still level 25, which is the level we got him. Alright, so he goes for an agility to raise his speed. And Ducks, go for an Aerial Ace. Oh, I flinched off the headbutt, but I get a speed boost, so that agility probably isn't really going to help Mantini out too much after a couple of turns. Ah, oh, shit! Now I get the mummy ability. I've got to be careful about that. Switch it, so I've lost speed boost now. That's annoying. Okay, that mummy ability kind of sucks. Like, really sucks. But Mantini faints, and we get ourselves some experience. Reaper grows to level 20. Sweet. And we beat Boss Rachel. Oh dear, are you being too hard on me? No. Uh, do I have any potions? I should have a handful still. Super potion. No regular potions. I'm not going to waste that here. Could use a couple of orange berries though. Just one. Because you don't know what you're up against, I just, yeah, it's always good to be prepared. I am pleased to meet you. Please allow you, me to introduce to you my Pokemon. I think that's what he said. Rich boy Leo. He looks like a rich boy too. He's got a Darumaka. 
I haven't fought one of these things yet. But I'm thinking a side strike is going to be pretty good. Oh yeah, that did a decent amount. Goes for a facade, that does like nothing to me. And he loses Defiant and gains money. See, I really want to level up Reaper a bit. Evolve him into a uh, Kabutops. Because those things are freaking awesome. Well, there's an item down there. Cool. Hee <laughs> hee, I'm better at Pokemon battles than I am at work. Girl, you should, uh, you should be doing work. Not Pokemon battling. Boss Daniel. He's got a mana. Send out the Reaper. Let's see. Let's go for a Psy Strike and see what it does. Probably not going to do a lot. No. Not very effective. Oh god, critical hit on the side beam. Alright, we're getting out of here. No, not run. Damn it. Pokemon. Um, let's go into ducks. That was scary. If I didn't have the Aviolite on Reaper just then, he'd be dead. So this should do a hell of a lot. Oh, I nearly killed it. Psybeam is going to do nothing, but it does leave me with the confusion. But I gain the speed boost. Uh, I'll go for a slash. And that kills the mono. Ducks gets another speed boost off. About to send in a slack off. Um, no, I'll keep going with ducks. thinking about staying in, but I haven't used a Fusion Flare in a while. Oh, sorry, I was thinking about switching, but yeah, we'll stay in. And that is a one-hit kill on that dead-ass sloth. Ducks grows to level 26. And we beat Boss Daniel. I'm good at Pokemon, but I still lost. Guess you did. Alright, definitely going to need to heal Reaper up for this next battle. That Super Potion will bring him back to full health. And I'll use an Orange Berry on Ducks. Okay. So we've got an item in the corner here, and it is a Pink Scarf. What does Pink Scarf do? Uh, Pink Scarf. Boost a cute aspect in a contest. Okay. Uh, probably never use that. What's this guy want? Clerks exchange business cards. Trainers, of course, greet each other with a Pokemon battle. I've always liked these kind of areas where you just battle heaps of people, like, one after another, because you always get a lot of good experience for it. So Reaper should easily be able to take care of this Tauros with a Psy Strike. Goes for a Pursuit. Yeah, I'm not switching out. But now he gains money. Mummy. I keep saying money. This is not Kingdom Hearts. I don't even really, like, unpopular opinion here. I don't like Kingdom Hearts. So. This goes for a scary phase. That is going to lower my speed, but I was slower than it anyway, so no big deal. I'm thinking one more side strike should do the trick. He goes for a Rage, that does nothing. Even with a crit, does like 2, two HP of damage. Ah, oh, lives it with like 1 HP. Rage is building. Absorb should finish the job. And it does. And I get myself 2 health back. Reaper grows to 21. Wants to learn Sand Attack? Nah, keep all moves. Give up on Sand Attack. About to send in a Glali. Yeah, I'll switch. Switch into Charles. Because 
Lolly could probably fuck up. Reaper. So he's got the drought. Just gonna turn the sunlight harsh. Well, that's gonna suck for him because he's copying a sunlight fusion flare in the face. That is going to destroy Glali. And with a crit, that was definitely some overkill there. Send in Furret, so we'll go back to Reaper, get him some more experience up. And let's see what this Furret's gonna wanna do. He's gonna lead off with the usual Psy Strike. Everything's got Rockhead. But the Taurus had Rockhead, and now Furret has Rockhead. A couple more side strikes will do the job here. Wow, critical hit on the side strike buries that far. And Rich Boy Antoinette is dead. Sorry about your Pokemon, bro. Alright, I'm gonna go heal up and buy some more healing items, and then I will be right back. Okay, so I've gone and bought myself a bunch of potions, and we're back in the battle company. Scientist looking dude wants to battle. Just because I'm a scientist, people think I am so serious. Well, you probably are. We've only got the one Pokemon, Juggler Kimberly. Sends out an Ekans. Can take care of that, no problems. You are going to taste a handful of side strikes. Uses this X special defense. Alright. Wasn't expecting that. Still get the super effective side strike and kill it in one hit. And that is Juggler Kimberly taken care of. Let's see, what's this, this guy want to battle? I'm in charge of development. I'm going to give you this because you came here for a company tour. We've got a scope lens. Ooh. If Pokemon holds a scope lens, it has a better chance to make a critical hit. I know who I want to give that to. Is it in here? Yup, it's right top. Give to... Ducks. That will be cool. I've already fought you. Do you want to battle? Either way, okay. And he gives us some quick balls. Alright, cool. This was definitely worth coming up here for. I'm very happy, so I'll give you another present. Timer balls. A quick ball makes it easy to catch a Pokemon if you use it at the very beginning of a battle, and a timer ball makes it easy to catch a Pokemon you've been battling for a long time. Sweet. Alright, well, let's go up to the 55th floor. And see what's going on up here. A relic band. What do you do? A maniac will buy it for a high price. Alright. So you can't equip it to a Pokemon for any benefits. My work is a Pokemon battle. Right, let's see what this guy's gonna wanna do. Rich Boy Lawrence has got a Barboach. These things can get pretty scary, Barboaches. Um, especially when they start earthquaking and stuff. So I'm going to want to kill it pretty early, or pretty quickly I should say. So a couple of side strikes does that. I really need some more moves on Reaper because side strike and absorb is pretty boring. <laughs> like just running up and side striking everything. I found a wonderful trainer, I will research you immediately. Girl, you can't research me. You can't just research people like that, that's not cool. Juggler Rachel. Sends out a Totodile. Oh, cool. I'm going to see what an Absorb will do to it. I know it's probably going to do, like, nothing, but it's super effective and I want to do something other than Side Strike for a change. Uses an X Special. Okay. Oh, absorb does a decent amount. Oh, I'm going to Absorb it to death. Even though Side Strike will probably finish it off a bit quicker than absorbing it constantly will. I'm just going to absorb the hell out of it. 
So he's got a Rage going. Doesn't really do a lot. He loses Insomnia and gains Mummy. Just gonna gain all that health back that he raged off me. Yeah, that Rage is just gonna do nothing. And the critical, super effective Absorb finishes off Totodile. And Reaper grows to level 22. The results of my research have revealed that you are the best. Yes, yes I am. Oh, an unfamiliar face. To help scientific progress... I didn't read the last bit. Um, I know this is a race, and I should be probably focusing more on, uh, like, trying to progress and get to the next badge and stuff, instead of just battling and grinding up experience like this, but I don't want to lose any of the Pokemon I have. Wow, okay, Psy Strike's not effective. Yeah, I don't want to lose anything I've got here, so, has he got, yes, so yeah, um, I feel like this battle tower is probably going to be worth it, or battle company is really going to be worth uh, checking out. Wow. Okay, the critical hit on that scares me. Ah, uh, not status restore, health restore. Go with the super potion on darks. Um, fury cutter. Uh oh. Alright, that's doing nothing. And I gain a speed boost. No, you're not bad. Let's see what a fusion flare is going to do to this pawnyard. One hit kill. Sweet. And that's Juggler Mallory taken care of. So this is probably going to be the last battle of this battle tower. I was about to take a break, then I met you. Three Pokemon, starting off with a Chimchar. Just a little fire monkey. So I'm not gonna bother trying to absorb it, because it's not gonna do anything, but Psy Strike should do a decent amount. Fell for the taunt. Yeah, one more Psy Strike will finish him off. Fury Swipes is gonna do nothing. Like absolutely nothing. Yeah, I really don't like, like, at first I thought the mummy ability was cool, but now I'm kind of sick of it. Now to send in a Cacnea. Uh, yes. I will switch into Ducks of the Cacnea. Go to the Nerial Ace. Finishes that off in one hit. And what's his next Pokemon gonna wanna be? A Curlier. Uh, no, I'll keep going with Docs. Boom. Oh, I didn't. Oh, of course. I keep thinking that flying is super effective against Psychic, but it's not. I don't know where I got that from, but. Yeah. Curly's special defense rose sharply, and special attack fell. Right, that's cool. So that last aerial ace definitely finishes it off. Gain myself a little bit of experience, and this encounter was a good one for me. Yes it was, rich boy. Yes it was. Let's talk to this old guy. Oh, you are the Pokemon trainer I met at the entrance. You've come this far. That means you must be quite strong. Are you prepared to face the strongest person in this building? Are you prepared to face the, face the chairman? The time has come. I am the one. I accept your challenge. Alright, so this guy does want to battle us. He looks like a janitor. Champion Marilyn. He's got a Larvesta. Okay, I'm pretty afraid of that, to be honest. Sandstorm, so he moves up a sandstorm. Which means Reaper's not going to take sandstorm damage, actually. So it's bug type, so Psy Strike's going to do nothing. Yeah, no, Reaper can't do anything to this. Switch into Ducks. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure Larvesta is like a bug and flying type. I could be wrong, but I think it is. Right. So that means that an Aerial Ace should do a decent amount. And it almost kills it in one hit. But the Sandstorm will finish the job. Yeah, I really need, like, Baton Pass or something on Ducks to make the most out of that. It's gonna switch in Timpole. Yes. Reaper could use the experience. Definitely could use the experience. Just gonna go with an Absorb off the bat, see what it wants. Oh, it's gonna wanna Mud Shot me. Ooh, that's a bit sketchy. Yeah, I'm not going to try and stay in here with Reaper. I could take another Mud Shot, but if it crits me, I'm fucked. Let's go with Charles, give him a bit more action this episode. Alright, so he goes for the Mud Sport, mud sport Shot Slap thing. Yeah, Charles can be taking that Sandstorm damage all day long. Let's see what a knockoff is gonna do. Eh, one more of those will do the job. Oh, Aqua Rings for the health back. No? Yes, that's health per turn, isn't it? Yes. I know my moves. Dizzy Punch will do the trick. Bubble Beam's not gonna do a whole lot to Charles. And that is a dead Timple. Charles gains 147 experience points. Rippy gains 161. Wow, you really cleaned up. That's uh, funny, because he looks like a janitor. I disguised myself as a janitor because I like to know what kinds of trainers come here. I had a good time battling you. This is a token of my esteem. Please accept this. And we get the experience share, so that's going to come in handy later on. Pokemon holding an experience share gets some of the experience points from every battle, even if it's not involved. That's right, it may be useful for raising weak Pokemon. But unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, that is all the time I have for this episode. So if you enjoyed it... Be sure to click like and subscribe to see more episodes from me. Peace out guys, thanks for watching.